Hello and welcome back to our Journeyman series on FIFA 16. We're still sitting with Viborg and we're second by two points to Copenhagen. Uh, we are in the Champions League and the first game of this episode is going to be against Chelsea. So uh, let's see if the boys versus the men can do better than we did against Borussia Dortmund. But let's get into it. Uh, I will have a start looking around for other jobs. If anything does come up in one of the uh, Group 3 countries, I will show you. And uh, hopefully something comes along shortly. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And it's another massive game for Viborg. We've got Chelsea. We are hosting them. It looks like a nice clear night, but I uh, do not like our chances after what we dished up against Borussia Dortmund. Let's just get straight into the action and see if we can be a giant killer in this one. It's an early free kick here for Viborg. 37 yards out. I don't like our chances here, but we'll have a red-hot crack with Bush. And it's a poor free kick. Easily taken by Begovic. And Terra Puente feeds this one inside. It's Giarico. He slots it forward. No, he doesn't. But we've got a touch on it. Tefilo's in there. Clips over. Oh, and Pedro's got a touch on that one. Giarico gets a piece. And we're going to get another red hot crack at the cherry here through Kawasi. Oh, way over the fucking top. No chance. From the back, the opposition. Oh, fuck me. That's nearly gone in. Sasha Boy gets a touch. Oh, fuck off. Three bites at the cherry for Chelsea to put one in. And there was no shadow of a doubt that they were going to score there. And we managed to hold on to the 42nd minute. And they finally get in. It was a good strike. He's hit the fucking sidebar. It's come back in. Sasha Boy just could not fucking pick up the crumbs. And inflicted there by a look like Just Ham trying to get a boot on it. But it doesn't matter. Remy's got himself a goal and it's 1-0 to Chelsea. Giarico slides one down the line. It's Fialo. No, it gets picked off way too easily. And already back in the middle of the park. Serena did well. Bush drops it off. And, well, fuck me. That's just like dropping the kids off at the pool way too easy. 1-0 to Chelsea at half time. Oh, great save from Sasha Boy. The free kick came in. It was worked at Sasha Boy, and he made a great save. It's a corner now for Chelsea. Just trying to chip it over the top, and Sasha Boy, a good fucking parry away. Corner now for Chelsea. Oh, Cantero Puente, he's just stripped him. He's just stripped him. And he feeds it inside to Joel. Oh, the big baldy can't put it in. Well, fuck me. Great opportunity there for Viborg, and Joel just tried to lick one in with a bit of grease off a chicken bone. And unfortunately, he could not score. Oh, what have you done, Sasha boy? Oh my god, are you serious? Wow. Unbelievable. What the hell just happened then? Sasha boy just tripped over Remy's fucking dick. Oh, here comes Chelsea. Hazard, bang. Fuck me. That's counter-attack football at its finest from Chelsea. And it's 2-0. Well, we went forward. We pushed hard. But Chelsea too strong in the end. And they get back on the counter. Absolutely tear us apart with pace and skill. And uh, it was all set up there by Hazard. And he gets it back at the end of the day and slots it straight past Sasha Boy. 2-0 to Chelsea. Well, let's take another look at and full time, it's a 2-0 loss, but a valiant effort there from Viborg, I thought. And we've got a bit of growing to do here. So, nine shots to four, and just Sam, well-deserved 7.1. We've got a monthly scouting update here. I think it's Colombia, and we've got a 75-94 to 94 in Villalba. Uh, we'll sign him up. Uh, an 87, Mancilla, we've been scouting, and we'll scout him further. Paz is an 86, we'll scout further. Jose Vargas can piss off. Uh, Mario Santana, no thanks. A 70 to 94 and Rodolfo Gallardo will sign him up. And a 68 to 92 and Tito Sifuentes. Sifuentes. I'm going to scout him for another month. All right, so the rest of the games, uh, there's three in the Super League. And then there's also a, an AS Monaco game. I'm going to simulate through these. Obviously, we only play the one game a month, but I will do a live sim on the Monaco game. If uh, any job offers come up before then, I will show you as well. All right, so a job's come up here at SV Mattersburg in Austria in the Bundesliga. Uh, there was also the opportunity to go for Austria Wine. Now, they want to qualify for Europe uh, with 17.5 million. Now, that would probably be the ideal job to take, but I just feel that they won't give us the job. So I'm going to try and get this Mattersburg job, see what happens. 
Uh, so we're going to put in and apply for this job now. Okay, with that job offer in, we're still not sure if we're going to get it, but the best thing to do is to sign up as many youth players as we can. Uh, so we'll offer them all contracts. And the only one we can't sign up is Yagudin, unfortunately. So if we do get the job, we won't have any uh, control over that and Yagudin will probably be lost to the game. Okay, so Mattersburg have come back and said, thanks for expressing your interest in the vacant manager position, but we looked at your credentials and unfortunately we decided that we're looking for other candidates. So I just really cannot see us getting a job this season. I'm, I'm not sure this is just a fuck thing that is with the... Uh, this, this whole career mode finding a job bullshit because, I mean, look, we've taken two teams, we've won two titles, and they're saying that we're not good enough, and they only wanted us to finish mid-table, so uh, we'll just have to keep looking, unfortunately. All right, away against AS Monaco, and Bush scores in the second minute to give us the lead, but Val Falcao gets it straight back in the ninth, and it's one all. So a great start there from Bush. Uh, getting a goal in Champions League football. At halftime, it is one all. They make a change, and Gonther comes on for Bush. And let's see, come on. A draw would be hilarious. If we can come away with a win, that would be even better. But I don't like our chances. Yal Kwasi picks up a knock. And uh, full time at one all, so we get a draw. Wow. Right, so October, we obviously lost the game against Chelsea 2-0. Then we won 3-2 away. Uh, then we won 3-0 at home. Drew the game against Monaco and won 2-1 away from home. All right, so we sign up all those players. So the only one left in the squad is Yagud, and he's up to 56 now and an 86 to 94. Okay, so November, we have got Chelsea once again in the Champions League and Borussia Dortmund uh, and a couple of games here as well in the league. I'm going to play the Borussia Dortmund game again. Uh, and let's see what we can do up until then. Okay, so there's a couple more Austrian jobs here. We've got Mattersburg again, which we missed out on, and we've also got uh, Strumgras. So we'll have a crack at Strumgras. See, they probably won't want us either. Monthly scouting update from Belgium. We've got an 81 to reject, a 78 to reject, and a 73 to 94, and Thomas Bruno will sign up. And the Netherlands brings us back a 69, a 72 to 94 in J. Roy Nellum, a goalkeeper. And... Uh, Ricaro De Boa, 75 to 94. Okay, sign him up and a 72 to reject. Now, as those jobs are in the works, um, I'm actually going to go and sign up these three players as well. Oh, fuck, I released him. Dickhead. I released the goalkeeper. Oh, well. Final U scout from Colombia. And is there anyone worth taking? Delgado. Uh, we will sign up. And, uh, oh, yes, Yago Bello, 52 to 68, 76 to 94. Get in the club, son, and that's going to end Colombia. All right, so Delago will offer a contract, and Yago Bello will offer a contract. All right, so Strumgras have come back and said that our credentials and references are unfortunately what we decided. We're going to look for other candidates. You fuckers. All right, Viborg away to Chelsea. I don't like our chances on this one. Uh, Filo's got a fucking an injured foot or some shit. He'll be back in a couple of days. So just Santos gets a start. But look at this. 2-0 down already in the first half. And uh, yeah, I didn't really think that we would get anywhere near Chelsea. Gonta comes on for Bush. DeMarco comes on for Serrano. It's 4 fucking nil. We're getting absolutely peppered here by Chelsea. And that should be it at 4-0. Okay, there's a job here with uh, Extra Glasser. Uh, in the, that's the league. And it's Pogon... Szczecin? Uh, I don't know. It's a Polish team, though. They're part of Group 3, so we'll have a crack. There's no other teams there, so, uh, yeah, Poland. Let's have a go. All right, the Polish club's come back and said, you're not fucking good enough. Fuck off, mate. Cheers. All right, we may as well send out Nielsen then, considering we're going to look like we're going to be stuck here. And the next country on the list is Peru for a winger. Uh, where is Peru? It's, it's on the left here somewhere. There we go. And a winger. All right. All right, here we go. Borussia Dortmund. Coming to the conclusion. Here we go. Come on, Viborg. Can we fucking do something here? Borussia Dortmund are actually third. AS Monaco have got up to second. Chelsea absolutely running away with it on top. Uh, but yeah, we're going to play a 51 rated right back in Becker. <laughs> Give him a crack. And uh, let's just see what we can do in this game. And all too easy. Creco does well, though. Serrano feeds it off to Giarico. What can he do here? Turns on it. Tries the shot. Oh, and he's gone over the top. And we're just a live or let die fucking attitude here from Viborg. Just get in there. Take the shots. Who gives a fuck? It's Champions League football. There's Yalkawasi. Slips it inside. 
Philo. Philo, it took a deflection off Bosch and it's 1-0 to Vibelong. We've got the lead in the Champions League game. Well, that was a fucking strike of good luck there. Philo just turned on a Bush, got in the way, and it's and it's really worked the keeper there. It's 1-0 to Vibelong and we'll fucking take a goal anywhere we can get it, even if it's off Bush's asshole. It's 1-0 to Vibelong. Yes, lads. Leading a game in the Champions League. And Bush gets himself a goal. And Terra Puente feeds this one down. It's Giarico. He's turned on it. He's done well, Giarico. Slips it forward. Bush has kept running. It's Bush! He's got two! It's fucking two down the Bible! Bush has got two! Oh, mate, you wouldn't read about it! What a fucking build up play there. Giarico setting it up perfectly. Bush kept running for him. He was just about dead. His hamstring just hanging off the bone. It doesn't matter, he struck that one home, and it's 2-0 to Viborg. Well, what a fucking story this is. And you know, boys, your Dortmund are just going to come straight back at us, but fuck, a 2-0 buffer at the moment, and Bush has got two. Oh, good save from Sasha Boy. I thought he was offside. It didn't matter. He got the shot off, and Sasha Boy with a great save. Oh, Creco just takes it off him. And he's blazing. And he feeds it forward for Giarico to run onto. It's Giarico. Can he get the cross in? He can. Who's there? It's fallen out to Kentero Puente. Kentero Puente's on it. He's going to shoot. But it's straight at the goalkeeper. Well, Viborg on the push again. And they come through again. Kagawa down the line. Yalkawasi gets a good touch. Holds them up. And half time. Well, a fucking unheard of story. Viborg up. Two goals to nothing. Giarico. Inside to Fialo. Goes back to Yalkawasi. Feeds it across. It's Cantero Puente. Shoots Jericho. And it's three fucking nil. Fucking get in there, lads. Jericho. Wow, what play that was. We just fed it around. Cantero Puente got the shot. A good save. And Jericho just there to pick up the crumbs perfectly. It's 3-0 to Viborg. And Champions League football at its finest. Right, time to make two changes. Bush has done his job here, and he's going to go off. And Gonther comes on as well as Joel for Filo. Big Baldy up front, giving him some more exposure to the Champions League. Jericho pushing through the middle. Feeds it off. Oh, picked off by the defence. And here they come streaming through Bender. And they've got us on a break here, and it's Marco Royce. What's he going to do? Oh, bang. There was no denying him. No fucking denying him. Got caught on the counter hop. And it's 3-1, and Royce gets himself a goal. A good strike there, we'll give him that one. He fucking did all the defenders inside out. Justem came out and had a red-hot crack at the slide tackle. He just fucking went straight through him, and straight through Sasha Boy. And it's 3-1. Royce again. Oh, Justem! Yeah. And Terra Puente slips it out, and it's Becker who's made the run. Can he whip in? He's gone back post. Oh, Bawaso, he's just come on. He doesn't know where the fucking goals are. Joel gets a perfect header on to Bawaso. He's got a bit of space. He's got a bit of time. He's going to cut inside. He's going to shoot, and he works the keeper perfectly. We've got a corner, and Vibark showing every intention of winning this game. An absolute cracking strike and a great save. We've got a corner. Here they come. Who is it? Ball inside, Sasha Boy. And that's it, full time. A victory in the Champions League for Viborg. Well, where does that put us on the table? Probably on four points and uh, probably not enough. But there's still one game remaining. 14 shots to six. We absolutely dominated that one. And Giarico with an 8.2. Right, so this is November. Uh, we won 2 0 at home, lost the game to Chelsea. Then we lost 2 1 at home. Uh, lost 1-0 away, so some poor form there in the middle stages. We just beat Borussia Dortmund 3-1, and then a 1-0 away, uh, away win against Koberhaven. All right, U Squad monthly report. Now, uh, Delago's dropped to an 83, so we're going to release him. And uh, Yago Bello will keep a hold of him. I've actually got a full squad now, so once the summer window hits, we're going to have to sell some players off. And Yagudin is an 87 to 94. The unfortunate news is that Boasso has broken his fucking metarassal, and he's gone for five weeks. Fuck.
Lucky he's only a bench player, but still, that's that's spreading us thin. All right, a quick look at December. Now, we've got uh, a couple of games, plus we've got a cup game, and then we've got the last game against AS Monaco. Now, what I'll do is I'll check the, uh, the tables and that sort of thing, see if this game's going to have any effect on the Champions League. If it does, I will play that in the next episode. If not, we will play the cup game. Right, so here's how the Champions group looks. I know we are last, we are on four points. But if we can beat AS Monaco in the next game, that will take us to seven points. And we need Chelsea to beat Borussia Dortmund. And we could possibly go through to the next stage of the Champions League. So we will be playing the AS Monaco game in the next episode. We're going to let the cup fly. And, uh, well, fuck me, this will be a true underdog story if we can knock off AS Monaco. All right, so the league table stands like this. We're currently second three points behind Koba Harvin, where we did beat them. Um, you know, we probably need to pick up some players in the summer window, sell off a shitload, and uh, really start strengthening this team up. And hopefully, hopefully, we can get a new job sooner than later. But I pretty much want to stay with Viborg until this Champions Cup uh, run is over, especially if we beat Monaco in the next episode. But that's all we got time for today. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you're asking for a squad report, I will do one once we hit that January transfer window. You know, you don't want too many of these as we're going through the, the, the game that quickly. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Spoon DK. It's five o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. Are you serious, Prince Aware? You're fucking done, mate. You're on the first fucking bus out of here. Fucking scum!